Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's meditation. Please sit comfortably and close your eyes, allowing your body to settle into wherever you're sitting. Let's begin with a few deep breaths, breathing into your stomach, feeling your belly expand. Inhale for four seconds. Hold. And exhale for four seconds. And let's do that again. If you like, as you inhale, perhaps go just a little bit deeper. Inhale for four seconds. Hold. And exhale for four seconds. And once more. Inhale for four seconds. Hold and exhale for four seconds. And now just breathe effortlessly without forcing your breath. Simply observing your breath as it naturally flows in and naturally flows out. Today I would like to share some poetry by Gibran Khalil Gibran, the Lebanese-American writer and poet who came to the United States in 1895 when he was two years old. Hebron was raised as a Maronite and was taught principles of religious tolerance and love. He's most famous for a book of poems called The Prophet, first published in English in 1923 and since translated to over a hundred languages. Gibran is the third best-selling poet of all time, behind only Shakespeare and Lao Tse. Gibran's poems are probing and earnest. His words are infused with generosity love and insight. As I read a couple of Gibran's poems, remember poetry like meditation should be experienced in any way you experience it. There is no such thing as getting it or not getting it. There's nothing that is supposed to happen. Simply listen gently allowing the words to flow through you however they like. On self-knowledge. And a man said, speak to us of self-knowledge. And he answered, your hearts know in silence the secrets of the days and the nights, but your ears thirst for the sound of your heart's knowledge. You would know in words that which you have always known in thought. You would touch with your fingers the naked body of your dreams. And it is well you should 
The hidden wellspring of your soul must rise and run murmuring to the sea. And the treasure of your infinite depths would be revealed to your eyes. But let there be no scales to weigh your unknown treasure. And seek not the depths of your knowledge with staff or sounding line. For self is a sea boundless and measureless. Say not, I have found the truth but rather, I have found a truth. Say not, I have found the path of the soul. Say rather, I have met the soul walking upon my path. For the soul walks upon all paths. The soul walks not upon a line, neither does it grow like a reed. The soul unfolds itself like a lotus of countless petals. On joy and sorrow. Then a woman said, speak to us of joy and sorrow. And he answered, your joy is your sorrow unmasked. And the same well from which your laughter rises was oftentimes filled with your tears. And how else can it be? The deeper that sorrow carves into your being, the more joy you can contain. Is not the cup that holds your wine the very cup that was burned in the potter's oven? And is not the lute that soothes your spirit the very wood that was hollowed with knives? When you are joyous, look deep into your heart, and you shall find it is only that which has given you sorrow that is giving you joy. And when you are sorrowful, look again in your heart, and you shall see that in truth you are weeping for that which has been your delight. Some of you say, joy is greater than sorrow, and others say, nay, sorrow is the greater. But I say unto you, they are inseparable. Together they come. And when one sits alone with you, remember that the other is asleep upon your bed. Verily, you are suspended like scales between your sorrow and your joy. Fear. It is said that before entering the sea, a river trembles with fear. She looks back at the path she has traveled, from the peaks of the mountains, the long winding road crossing forests and villages. And in front of her, she sees an ocean so vast that to enter there seems nothing more than to disappear forever. But there is no other way. The river cannot go back. Nobody can go back. To go back is impossible in existence. The river needs to take the risk of entering the ocean because only then will fear disappear because that's where the river will know. It's not about disappearing into the ocean, but of becoming the ocean. Love is a magic ray. 
Love is a magic ray emitted from the burning core of the soul and illuminating the surrounding earth. It enables us to perceive life as a beautiful dream between one awakening and another. Before we complete our meditation today, let's introduce four intentions for a wonderful life, a wonderful weekend, a wonderful moment. As I pronounce each intention, silently repeat the intention once or twice slowly, observing the words gently. Sometimes when we say these intentions, a soft smile may come to you naturally. And if it does, don't resist. Joyful, energetic body. Loving, compassionate heart. Reflective, alert mind. Lightness of being. Leo Gibran once said, wake at dawn with a winged heart and give thanks for another day of loving. As you go about your day and your weekend, have the intention, in the words of Gibran, to wake at dawn with a winged heart and to give thanks for another day of loving. Now, if you like, feel free to unmute your line and bring your palms together in front of your heart center. Let's chant together the Sanskrit word for being, Om. When you're ready, gently and gracefully, open your eyes as we greet each other with Namaste. Inhale. Om. Namaste.